Go to dark Gethsemane, all who feel the tempter's power, your Redeemer's conflict see. Watch with him one bitter hour. Turn not from his griefs away. Learn from Jesus Christ to pray. I'm going to read to you from Matthew chapter 26. While Jesus was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you have come to do. Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back in its place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must be so? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching. And you did not seize me. But all this has taken place, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, I have my Bible verse with us again today. And uh, let's say it together. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. A huge crowd with swords and clubs journeyed to the Garden of Gethsemane to arrest Jesus at night. And Jesus' friend, Judas, led them. And when this crowd came, some of Jesus' disciples began to fight back. They tried to protect Jesus. But Jesus said, Stop. Don't fight. Put your swords away. Scripture must be fulfilled. Jesus' joyful journey to the cross included his friends, his disciples. Some were good friends. Most let them down. And at the end of our reading, all of his disciples became afraid and they fled for their own lives. And they ended up leaving Jesus all alone. God also blesses us with friends, doesn't he? God even lets us be friends with others, too. Now, are your friends always perfect? Are they always helpful? Do you always get along with your friends? No, they're not perfect, and neither are you. We all say and do things that aren't helpful, even to our friends. Jesus journeyed on then as a prisoner. Jesus didn't let his friends fight for him because scripture must be fulfilled. Jesus knew that he had to suffer. 
He had to die to save us from all our sin. And yes, it was hard. And he became lonely. But Jesus was still full of joy because he suffered for you. He suffered for your blessing. He suffered for your eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your journey to the cross for us. Thank you for sharing your journey through your word. And thank you for going to the Garden of Gethsemane and sharing your joy of friends. Bless us as we journey with you in this week. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow for chapel.